guys? It's going. And for your hair, I'm showing this really cool tweak called Status Weather. And if you see my other videos, you know I did a really similar tweak to this tweak called Status Bar Weather 7. And this tweak is really similar because it just puts the weather on your status bar right here. And But this tweak just goes more in depth and more options for you to choose from so if you're on the fence between choosing status bar weather 7 or status weather i really think you should choose this uh tweak at all because it gives you way more than just status bar weather 7 and i'm just going to show you what it does first let's go into settings and i'm going to show, show you the settings in status weather here in status weather first of all you have your basic kill switch enable or disable and you can show in the lock screen and status bar weather 7 doesn't give you that option it just shows you everywhere but this one it can show in the lock screen if you wanted uh, to show in the lock screen or not just choose it on from right here and the default it comes disabled but if you want to enable it just enable it and that's it you also have the double tap gesture and the double tap gesture just double tap on the clock or the weather and it gives you the location the temperature the humidity and the feels like so it gives you what uh, what the location everything that you have here so it's really cool also in the double tap gesture, just pick launch weather and lets you the launch the weather app from here. It's really cool, lets you do anything you want right here. You can launch the weather app anytime you want. So I think it's pretty cool. It's really easy to use and uh, really that's it for the double tap gesture. You also have the weather metric. If you live in a other time zone or other country and you don't use Fahrenheit or Celsius, just choose what you want from right here. You don't have to respring it all, just press what you want and it just goes automatically from right here. I live in the Fahrenheit time zone or country and I use Fahrenheit so really that's it. 78 degrees Fahrenheit and it tells you what you want. You also have the 24 hour mode. If you're like a military person and you, or you just want to have the 24 hour mode, just switch it on right here and it tells you what it is right here and you don't have to respring it all that's a really fun part of it and really easy to use part of it so just turn it on anytime you want now you have the custom refresh interval basically it comes in 20 it comes at 20 on default but if you want to reduce it to 10 or something just reduce it but it gives you a note right here a warning that if you reduce it it drains more battery so I just recommend to you too that to just leave it at 20 or whatever you want it to and if you just want to change it just press custom refresh interval and just turn it on and just move the bar it's really easy to use really easy to say and also the fun part of it it works on 7.1.2 and 7.1.1 and it's really easy to use once again it's called status weather and i recommend you get this it is free on the city score and city store i mean so that is it for today if you like this video please click the like button below and please subscribe and i'll see you later